Hello everyone and welcome back to Server Gyan. So within this video we are going to understand that how do we define any operating system whenever we need to install any software. So what are the steps of it and what is the need of base image and what is actually base image that's what we are going to discuss about. For example if you are given a, given a like a requirement that you need to install any software so what will you think of then first of all you will say okay what is the operating system where do i need to install it reason being because based on your operating system you will download the installer the installer of software you will download based on your, your operating system if that is red hat so you will download an rpm package if that is mac os so obviously you will download dpkg or if that is like ubuntu so uh, xyz and if that is windows so maybe you want to down uh, maybe you will download for sure .exe file now for doing that what you need you need you need a browser on your operating system you will download you will start your browser then you will search for a desired software wherein you will be looking for the architecture of software you will be looking for uh, like version of software compatibility with your hardware everything you will check then after you will download it finally once it is downloaded you will execute the installer and finally you will run command inside it or you will execute it as a .exe file so where is the base image here what is the role of base image so when you are talking about that you will install an operating system to install uh, any software on the top of it so install an operating system is equal to specifying your base image because your base image is working the same stuff as your operating system it means if you need to download or you need to install any package so obviously you will be needing one base image in the context of docker container okay then after what i like start browser search for your desired software and rest of the stuff what, what we are performing here so it means the particular run command if we see here in this section so we had already discussed like run apk which is like uh, apache package kit or something like so uh, add update redis so the particular run section is here it means within run section we are going to see all the thing all the stuff which is happening here so if you remember uh, i uh, we just uh, did something here let me show you here so when we created that particular docker file uh, okay 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 yes so i ran a command here like uh, ap uh, when i ran this command like docker build hyphen uh, docker build so what happened here is we can check that first of all from image it means this image was downloaded then after image was uh, downloaded completely then after run it means apk add update redis so what it was doing is it was fetching packages from internet and after that installing redis so if you see here what we are talking about like first of all install operating system it means we have downloaded the alpine image or it means our operating system is installed now to work with then after when we are talking start your browser search desired software download software and execute installer it means what we are doing here is we are running apk add update redis so what it is doing is it is first of all download searching for software whatever updated software we have then after it is downloading from somewhere then after it is uh, like uh, installing redis in this in, in this image then after okay uh, like 7 mb 15 packages have been downloaded so it is telling the rest of the stuff now finally it is saying that your command now installer has been executed so software is ready to be uh, used then what you are going to do here is you are going to run a run command it means what command you want to be there at a startup so finally the command uh, like redis hyphen server is executed then running in this is the container id or this is the particular image id where the, this command will be executed and with the help of this image we can obviously start this container so this is what it is happening here and uh, yes now i hope that you can understand this that why do we need a uh, base image now uh, one more question should be there then why do we why do we use only alpine or maybe uh, like uh, uh, busy box or any other image so let me tell you as we decide any operating system for software installation like your there is a requirement comes that you need to install mysql so for using mysql what will you use you will use windows you will use mac os you will use like uh, ubuntu debian mandriva suze fedora what type of operating system will you use 
so before selecting operating system what you what do you guys keep in mind that is this operating system compatible with my uh, my software which i'm going to install or will it support this particular software or all the features which i'm looking for newly software newly installed software does it include that keeping all these things in mind you select an operating system okay so alpine is a particular image which can support my software which was redis here in this case so as we were talking about this redis so alpine is the image which can support redis which can download and which can run all the commands which are related to redis so that is why i selected alpine image here now why do we select operating system like windows so that is why i'm telling that based on your software installation requirement you select an image so it's not only about alpine we will be working with ubuntu we will be working with apache mysql and maybe wordpress as well so based only on our requirement that what is the particular thing which can fulfill our requirement that is why we are using alpine image here so once again let us give a quick brief here uh, like base image is like your operating system then after downloading software on uh, installing software is like run command is performing that stuff for you and final run command on a startup is performing your run command so this particular step should be cleared within this slide here so this is for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server again see you in next video thank you